I must admit, I don't understand why my last video got so many thumbs downs. I haven't gotten that kind of a ratio, I don't think ever, at least not in that much time. I kind of wonder whether or not someone posted my video on Reddit or something, and then a bunch of people came and gave it a thumbs down. I don't really know. I haven't seemed, I haven't gotten any reasonable, well, I mean, I've had a number of reasonable comments, but I haven't had any comments where people were just really talking about what pissed them off so much about, uh, about my video, except for one. It's one, uh, someone named J. Samuel Waters, and they were suggesting that, they said, also to insinuate that was advocating spousal abuse of any form is just plain scummy. And I, I'm like, I never, I never said anyone was abusing their spouse. Never. I never insinuated that. I never hinted at that. No. No, I never said that. Okay? Just because I have a negative view about telling, basically assuming that guys should be the dominant ones in relationships and women should be the submissive ones, just because I have a negative view of that doesn't mean that I think that people who are in those relationships abuse their spouses. It's ridiculous. It's, it's offensive that, that you would just make that assumption about me just because I, I express some negativity. Kind of pisses me off, actually. But whatever, um, you know, people interpret things different ways. I could have worded things better. I could have explained myself better, perhaps. But uh, no, I, I never insinuated anything like that. Never. Okay. But it is a fact that many Abrahamic religious uh, teachings uh, teach that Men should be the dominant ones in a relationship and women should be submissive, particularly in, in a marriage. Now, granted, it, it says that everyone should be submissive to God. You know, everyone should submit to God. And then from there, you know, then you have the relationship. The guy on, on, on is, is the dominant one and the woman is the submissive one. That's taught in many of these religions. That, that's a fact. And... It's been the norm for a long time uh, in, in relationships, okay? And you can say, well, it's been the norm because it's worked. Well, yeah, it has worked, but that doesn't mean that's the only kind of relationship. That doesn't mean you should freak out when people promote other types of relationships. That doesn't mean you freak out when people analyze your types of, your type preferred relationship in a more clinical way. I mean, that's how I've described it is how those relationships are. It, it says the woman should be submissive. That doesn't mean she should be abused. That doesn't mean she should put up with, with being abused. I never suggested that. Now, even in some of these Muslim countries uh, that... Uh, the social norms in those countries is is uh, for women to not have any rights. Even in some of those relationships, there's not always abuse. You could assume there always is, but there isn't always. Even in those cultures, not all not all husbands like beat their wives. Okay, so even in those situations, it, it's it's you know suggesting that that uh, because they think that women should be submissive, that they're literally always putting up with abuse. Yeah, I don't insinuate that in those situations either. So, I don't really know. I do know that people freak out when other types of relationships, when people try to normalize other types of relationships. Hell, people... People get all bent out of shape over people trying to normalize homosexuality. You know, you, you, it's just like, why are you getting bent out of shape over that? It's not like suddenly th the, the people that are statistically in the majority will suddenly no longer be in the majority if you, if you accept 
other types of uh, relationships. Oops, oops, it's just going to go away. It's going to... No, you're, you're still going to have those. And the majority uh, religion in this country is still going to, you know, in general, is going to promote some of those same sense of power in a relationship. It's, it's still going to be pushing that. You're, you're not going to lose that. You're not going to lose the ability to have that kind of relationship. And, and if those relationships work for you, great. Have at it. Go for it. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to try to stop you. And I'm certainly not going to, to promote any sort of law that would, that would make it harder for you to have the kind of relationship that you and your partner have agreed to have. Okay, as long as there actually isn't abuse, then, then whatever. Now, if there's abuse, that's a different thing altogether. And yeah, we shouldn't tolerate abuse. But I'm not going to assume that you abuse someone just because you think that they should be submissive. So, I don't know if anything that I said here cleared any of that up. I, I, I'm kind of all over the place in this video. But, yeah, I don't really understand why that many people, just that many people, really, really hated my last video. So... You know, maybe someone can explain. Thanks.